Libra, welcome. This is your heart spread reading for January 2022. Love, romance, and relationship reading. Here, I'm looking at you and the one on your mind. You're coming in here with the Six of Pentacles energy. This is your energy in and around love and relationship. This person that's on your mind is coming in with the Ace of Wands, their energy in and around relationship. Um, this is really sexual energy. Your person, um, in bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. So I believe that's your energy representing this overall energy. I think uh, normally you're... Uh, more of a conservative person, kind of self-contained person. This is your energy in around love relationships. But I believe that uh, this is speaking about an ongoing experience. And right now you're in this Eight of Swords energy, if this is your reading. Otherwise, I, I, I'm wrong. We're going to lose maybe a lot of people. But this reading, um, I pray normally, I, I, I'm sorry for setting it up ahead of time, I shuffle, but it's been really hard for me, so the way I can prepare now, uh, and after some prayer, and then I was done and ready to push the video button and start your reading, and I started sobbing, and I knew it was about the reading, and I kind of let, sat with that a minute, and I thought, okay, because one of my concerns, God, I said, I hope this isn't like a predictive reading, kind of hate, what am I going to do, come and say, oh, you're about to have a tower moment, but it reads what it reads. But uh, I believe this is probably a, in, um, an ongoing thing, like you're just, just happening. And we're speaking of someone that's in this Eight of Swords energy. But, um, you know, when, we, when you're in this Eight of Swords energy, number one, it's isolated. So you probably have to sit in it a little bit. Um, but, you know... Do try to reach out, you know, when you can. Don't kind of just stay in it forever. Um, you're just going around in your head repeating something uh, over and over, which is probably something they did, a combination. I believe this was an affair. You, you're coming in, you know, with the bottom of the deck, the page of uh, wands. But that is looking back at you, away from the reading, see? Um, your six pinnacles looking into a reading. That's what you really wanted to bring to this relationship. But I believe it started as this. But it could be a fair or just a very passionate, quick beginning, you know, um, with someone. Um, likely pretty fantastic. But the way they're reacting to you now is the two of swords. And the way you're reacting is the knight of swords, which could be interesting, but now you're facing back towards yourself your six pentacles energy so i believe that they just wounded you with something that they said okay and their advice from spirit by the way this card is their advice the nine of cups really their advice is they need to be single okay uh, i don't know what I'm saying other than that um this is the energy they need to go into so now this energy to me doesn't exclude a relationship it can sometimes, particularly this is advice from spirit, it, it was going to advise the higher octave of the Nine of Cups, which is a, emotional self-containment, emotional mastery, uh, just being happy and fulfilled on your own emotionally. Um, so I believe that if you, not to make excuses, but maybe understand what happened to you, because I feel you might feel like this was a little bit of a hit job. Frankly, you might feel kind of fucked, um, honestly, like... You know, they fucked me um, in a kind of almost literal sense, you know. And so I think like, yeah, that was part of it, but it wasn't supposed to be, you know, it. <laughs> so um, it, there's a sense to this, God, with this tower, we'll get to that exactly. But I'm really sorry because I, I feel it's kind of almost kind of a violence here with this two swords. And for them, it's like, I just don't know. I just don't know. But then I feel like as they're thinking this, like maybe you're saying to them, What's going on? What's going on? And then they kind of lash out to you, at you. It could even be physical, but definitely verbal. These are wands. These are communication. So it's like, I, it, it could be along the lines of, I don't want to talk about it or get away. That kind of energy. And 
you know, with your Knight of Swords, this is shows me a very strong energy Knight of Swords uh, reacting to a two of Swords. It's like uh, taking action and, um, um, in terms of your thoughts and communication and the way you're thinking about the relationship. This is your energy around them. How do you feel about them? And you're moving, though, back into yourself. So it's like what they said has dri kind of basically driven you back into yourself. And I believe that is a good thing. Pretty much always a good thing. And I think Spirit's backing that up because now we have the Judgment card. This is your advice on how to deal with this relationship. We don't really have a relationship. So and the, the heart spread then becomes your readings. It's always about lessons. And we have Pluto here. Judgment represents Pluto. So Pluto, Venus, conjunction, right? Wherever that is in your chart too. And Capricorn, like 25 now. I think it's about to go to 26. And um, so it's so much going on there in terms of the love and relationship reading. This is all about love and relationship transforming. Uh, the way we approach uh, what we value and what we love and how we love and how we have relationship. And, you know, this could be, think of that as becoming part of that uh, greater dynamic. Um, but I believe I like it with the Six Pentacles. I feel like you're someone in general with this reading shows someone that's trying to be fair and balanced. And, you know, it's got the scales. It's a Libra card, you could say, right? So this is you trying to be you. This person, not make excuses for you, but I mean, they just blew your skirt up. They would have got to you, man. And you just went for it. And I think this, frankly, just is kind of like a player in a fire sign, you know, you could say Aries or Leo or Sag personality, sun, moon, uh, or rising, maybe Venus energy too, um, could be at play here. Even Mars energy. I, this is like a fire Mars. My Aries Mars. Hello. Sag Mars. Leo Mars. Um, and it's um, with the judgment card for you. It's all about like this is going to be a lesson. And here is when this nice sword, you go back to yourself. It's like you realize there's something really big here. And the fact that it's a night though. It's not you exactly just crying and curling up in a ball and saying, wow, because they were mean to you. It's you really now taking this to heart. And with the judgment, you're being advised, yes, really time to this. You want to balance, then understand and balance the whole thing, your whole life, all of your emotions around love and relationship. That's what really this is about. It's not even about this this person um, here. Um now, all I can say, if it's any consolation, there, for them, it did involve some mental stress, you know, it stressed them out, uh, having to kind of deal with you, um, however they played it. Um, and if you still are communicating with them or just cross-watcher, I mean, when all it's saying, it, you know, I don't think spirit ever comes with punishment or anything. It's just advising, you know what, good time for you to develop this love of yourself and be self-contained and stuff and then I would think that what it's saying is that once this is achieved maybe you won't use your energy in in such a um, you know I don't know predatory way it's kind of what happened here labor like you were kind of predated uh, what I want to say and this is the advice from spirit this is the crooks of the heart spread it's the main card and it just stands out so much in this reading in just always uh, remember uh, that the tower starts, uh, gives you an opportunity to start over. And uh, maybe you would have been stuck in this, you know, with this person. Maybe if they had not done what they did, uh, you could have been kind of led along and gone further into this relationship and maybe, maybe stop for a moment and think. I mean, you got into it with the page of wands. It's, it's not... Uh, that's not the kind of energy that always is going to think things through and all here. Um, so kind of a passionate thing. Maybe that's kind of the lesson you learn is about your passion and how to ride it. So it doesn't ride you, something like that. Um, so when this comes in, you know, you got to always look at it as, as it's not that it's doing you a favor. It's just meant to be. It's like the universe saying, like, you know, we really don't want to stick your nose in it. You just need to learn this lesson. 
and you know it ends it and by it ends it that's when you get fired from your job you your boyfriend girlfriend sleeps with your sister brother whatever or something terrible and brings this uh, thing crashing down um, and now we've got you thrown into this um, eight swords engine again where I think is where you're at now so I think like really what I want to clarify is not necessarily even the outcome I see the outcome that you're at and you know I have other reasons I could refer you to if this does resonate consider personal reading over personal readings they're only 30 bucks so it's not expensive it's like 45 minutes or an hour whatever it takes when we try to get to the bottom of things with it um, but because what you want to understand is the nature of this uh, lesson in this relationship is probably really important you know in general it's going to be a, more about kind of putting yourself first not losing yourself you know one way you can lose yourself is just by always trying to please them another way you can lose yourself is by just being so I uh, believe you understand this one being so sexually magnetically overwhelmingly compellingly drawn to them that's the you don't you stop seeing the red flags and you kind of lose yourself uh that way um so it's really about not losing yourself i'm sure but it's a really good instinct you had to go back into yourself i wouldn't be uh, surprised to see the um uh i was gonna say the hanged man or or the hermit but what we got is the Empress. Now, it's kind of just what I'm saying. So this is, a, what is the Empress? Aries. What is Aries? Opposite of Libra. So what is Libra? The other. It's all about the other. Are you okay? How do you feel? I'm really worried about them. And Aries is like, you know, hurrah for me and fuck you. I mean, at the most basic archetypical level. So it means that you're going to be cultivating a little more of that attitude, Libra, if, uh, knowing that you're the emperor also absolutely has no doubt about their value um you know doesn't uh, tolerate any foolishness um uh, being being a little stubborn too which could suit you so instead of saying well okay say no you know because you really don't want to and that leads you maybe into these places here when you keep saying yes when you really mean no so a lot of what this judgment about is about saying no and not when you want to say no. I, I was an adult, children alcoholics for decades and much there being one of the most enlightening things was really sinking in that, you know, I'm allowed to say no without any excuse or explanation. I'm a fucking adult. I don't have to give anybody an excuse, you know. If you're my wife or husband or whatever, we write I mean, you know, but still, I mean, of all people, they should understand. You might be able to just pick, you know, no and leave or something, or you know, you really can. You re it really is. Uh, it, you really don't have to always comply, you know, to what everyone else wants and needs, you know, as you go forward. So, other than that, as a rough uh, heart spread reading, um, if you're the one identifies, feel free to comment. Um, and uh, I appreciate your uh, likes and subscribe if you haven't. Um, we'll, I'll be putting out next week, I hope, anyway, uh, some singles reads too. And I kind of start looking forward to the future. And always look when you have the tower. It's going to give you an opportunity to build a new house. <laughs> look at the bright side of it. Thank you, guys.